What I can tell you, what you said also earlier about the fatalities, the Brotherhood saying that there is roughly 200 people killed, State Emergency Service saying six people have been killed from what the emergency services have dealt with. We're also hearing from the Ministry of Interior security forces that have moved in. In the morning, we're hearing hundreds of people injured as well during these operations. Also, if you look around Cairo right now, very tight security presence. We have armored personnel carriers deployed around the city. Most notably, Tahrir Square, we have the army securing the square, and this is one of the focal points of protests, albeit this has been a focal point more recently for the pro-government, the people who are supporting the military, supporting the new government, but very tight security around there. Also earlier this morning, plumes of smoke coming up from these two camps. You saw the fires, the one that's just outside of Cairo University where security forces are showing weapons that they have there. We were unable to independently. Definitely, the security forces are saying that they are finding weapons at these sites, although the protesters are saying that they are peaceful, that they're coming there, they don't have weapons, and that they're trying just to voice their opinion, demanding that the ousted President Mohamed Morsi be reinstated, saying that even though these operations are ongoing, it's not going to deter them, Becky. In the Interior Ministry has been warning protesters that they provide a threat to security for residents in the area, and they've been warning that they would clear these sit-ins for some two weeks now. The Muslim Brotherhood spokesman this morning saying that protesters would rather, and I quote, go to the graveyard. Um, how long will this go on? Can you assess as you see it at present? The two main camps, the one outside of Cairo University seems to be cleared, uh, but the one that Reza is at right now, the one at Rabah Adawiyah, is a well-fortified uh, camp. They had uh, sandbags, they had bricks, they, it was a well fortified. They were there, definitely there to stay for the long haul. And uh, it looks like from what they've been vowing, uh, the numbers that we see in Rabah Adawiyah, that they can hold this, that they will stay there. The Ministry of Interior has been telling the protesters to go home. They have warned that they will move in before we've seen deadlines come and go, as the military has said, or the, sorry, the Ministry of Interior has said that they were going to clear these squares. Uh, but today, without any warning, uh, they moved in. They're trying to clear Rabah Adawiyah. They haven't been able to do that, but they were able to clear Cairo University. Uh, but one of the main leaders of the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, Samal Erian, said that he was not going, that the Brotherhood was not going to stop, that they were going to continue uh, protesting until their demands are met. Becky. Can we confirm who it is uh, involved in this clearing process? Is this entirely security forces run by the Interior Ministry? That would be the police and security forces, of course. Or is the military also involved? Is, is that clear at this point? It's unclear exactly who is involved, but I can tell you that definitely both the military and the Ministry of Interior are in somehow uh, are undergoing certain operations today, uh, like we saw. We have seen uh, Ministry of Interior security forces clearing the square, uh, clear, trying to clear not the square, uh, the area around Cairo University. But we're also seeing the military presence on the streets of Cairo, unclear uh, in Rabah Adawiyah, uh, where they're ongoing, uh, they're ongoing uh, clashes between the security forces and. Uh, the protesters, who exactly is making up these security forces, but what we ha are seeing are both the military and the Ministry of Interior uh, and somehow in certain operations today around here in Cairo.